The hacker who infamously stole private information from some of the most famous people on the planet in 2014 was just sentenced to 18 months in jail. So his name is Ryan Collins. He's 36 years old. He did a two-year phishing scam on over 100 people, including Rihanna and Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, he also ran a modeling scam where he got other victims to send him naked pictures. He was uh, convicting, convicted of federal hacking charges. Now, they go on to explain how they don't actually have solid proof of him being the one to leak this stuff to the general public. But they know that he's the one that got the, you know, got hacked into the private information of Jennifer Lawrence and Rihanna and all these other celebrities and then got the naked pictures and then he had the naked pictures. So again, they don't know if he's the one who released it, but he hacked and had it. So I guess there's a little bit of an implication there. Well, he probably released it too, but, you know, I guess the counter argument is maybe somebody else hacked the hacker and then they released. I don't know. Whatever. Either way, he hacked celebrities and then released this stuff. Now... This is a really interesting story, in my opinion, because it brings up a, a very important debate, which is where's the line when it comes to hacking? So what's legitimate hacking? What's righteous hacking versus what's not righteous and a crime that we all believe should be punished? So, for example, when you talk about something like what WikiLeaks did, I support WikiLeaks. Now, I support WikiLeaks because not only because they're going after powerful people, but it's because they're going after people in the government and exposing and bringing transparency where there should already be transparency. So in other words, if you're somebody who's a government official and it's what the discussion is official government business and it's not something that legitimately should be classified or top secret like the nuclear launch codes or the position of our troops at any current time or whatever the case is. Well, then, yeah, don't we have a right to see what's happening in our name with our money? Because that's what it is. The government is doing stuff in our name with our money. So, they're ours. They're ours. We are their boss, not the other way around. Sometimes they get it twisted. So, I support the hacking of people in government positions when the things being said should not be uh, things that are classified or top secret anyway. Now, again, maybe people draw that line at what should be classified and what should be top secret at a different place. But what's clear is what we have right now, that it's not that. Like, what happens is the government just takes anything that, that paints them as bad and, and exposes them for what they are, corrupt. Anything that's embarrassing to the government, they'll just say, oh, top secret, classified, nobody could see it. There's just so many things that are top secret that shouldn't be. And so many areas where they say, no, 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 we have, uh, we have privacy on this, where they shouldn't have privacy. So I support WikiLeaks in that. Now, there is a genuine question in a, a little bit of a gray area when it comes to, all right, well, what do you do for campaigns, people would say. Because for the campaign, you're not officially in government yet. You just want to be in government. So you're not there yet, so do you have a right to privacy? Well, look, I admit that that's a gray area. But I lean on the side of transparency in that case. Because, for example, like, we've criticized the shit out of Trump because Trump has, on the campaign trail, created a media blacklist where he says, all these people who've been too critical of me that I don't like, I'm banning them from covering us on the campaign trail. And it's, it was fucking everybody. I mean, every outlet you could think of, centrist outlets, establishment outlets, right-wing outlets, left-wing outlets, just banned everybody who spoke a bad word about him. So, and I said, you shouldn't be allowed to do that because... You're running for to become president, and when you're president, it, you're literally not allowed to do that. The Constitution prevents you from doing that. We have a free press. Why shouldn't fr the free press apply to when you are applying for that position by campaigning? So by the same token, I think the if you're campaigning, and if you want this job, and this job in, it, is supposed to have radical transparency with it, because again, you're doing it with our money in our name... Well, then we should be allowed to see what you're talking about. Again, unless it is just common sense, no, you know, they shouldn't be released like the nuclear fucking launch codes and stuff like that. Okay, so that's where I fall on that. Now, when it comes to celebrities, I am 100% against hacking them because there's no, there's no public good in that. And you are taking away the right to somebody's privacy. Just because somebody's a movie star, just because somebody's you know, an entertainer, a singer, whatever, doesn't mean that, what, you have a right to see their ass 
their vagina, their tits. No, that is a violation of privacy, a rank violation of privacy. They're not in the government. This isn't something that affects policy. This isn't something you funded and that somebody's doing in your name. This is somebody who's, uh, you know, while they are, do have a public life, they are also a private citizen and they have a right to a private life. I don't want everything Rihanna or Beyonce or fucking Jennifer Lawrence or any of these people. I don't want what they do to have to be broadcast to everybody 24-7. Of course they have a right to be off camera. Of course they have a right to not have their fucking phone hacked. So I agree with sensing this guy. I don't know what I think his ideal sentence should be, whatever. But either way, I think he, he's guilty and he should. there should be punishment associated with it. And I think we need to be clear about where there should be total transparency and where there should be total privacy. Because those are at odds. The idea of right to privacy versus right to transparency, if you will. Uh, and again, as, as far as I can take away what my position is on it, and the more I think about it, and I try to get into the details, I think my main takeaway is not, hey, powerful versus not powerful, because some people would argue that. Like, Glenn Greenwald, for example, argues that, and he's somebody I agree with on a lot of things. But this is one where I think he's slightly off. To me, it's not powerful versus non-powerful. It's uh, basically powerful and in the government and not powerful and also I would add the the caveat of I do include to transparency people who want to be in that government position and are running for that government position so for example WikiLeaks with John Podesta's emails is totally fair game in my opinion there's a lot of newsworthy stuff in there and you see the inner workings of the campaign and there shouldn't be uh, privacy for you know the type of sleazy tricks they're playing to try to get elected and that this isn't stuff that it's legitimate to say, no, this should be top secret or classified or should be kept away from the public eye when you're running to represent us in our name with our money. So I guess that's my little, you know, difference there. For privacy of celebrities, it, total, totally. Don't fucking hack them. Don't be assholes. That's not right. That should be a crime. But for powerful people in the government and people who are powerful who want to be in the government and want that position... And, you know, people who are in bed with the government, too. I'll lump that in there, too. So if it's like a CEO who's doing a giant corrupt deal or an owner of a multinational corporation who's doing a giant corrupt deal with the government, do I support hacking that person? Well, yeah, because that's a giant corrupt deal involving the government. And that's in our name with our money, and they're doing shit they shouldn't do. So, yeah, I'd support hacking them, too. So there are plenty of gray areas, but it's an important discussion to have. What is ethical hacking versus what is not ethical hacking. In this case, with the celebrities and the naked pics, I think we could all agree that's really not ethical. That's not saying that people who end up looking at it, because so many people looked at it, it's not saying you're a criminal and you should go to jail and there should be consequences for you. It's saying that the people who did the hack, yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't hack celebrities. It's, that's not the same thing as keeping people who are powerful accountable.